best because I haven't actually done this since then. You want two thirds of white and one third of color. Roll them out into here, okay? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist them three times. One, two, three. Then I'm going to do a Z fold like this, okay? Then I'm going to roll it out a little bit more and I'm going to twist it three times. You want to do this three times, this whole thing. One, two, three, and then I'm going to do a Z fold, okay? Like that. Then I'm going to twist it. One, two, I'm so excited to see this right now. And then you're going to do this, okay? Then it says, <laughs> roll into log each time. Okay, so I didn't roll it as well as I should have. Roll log to length needed, twist until lines form. Roll, push the length in case. So I should have done this each time in between. Okay, so if you're going to do it today, then do this. Okay, and then... But you can also go again. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Very funny. Now we can see that all the way. If there's... So if you want more, if you want your pattern tighter, then keep going. At some That's point, it'll so start blending just to It make will, it absolutely. Cool. But how cool is that? Wow, that is awesome. <laughs> she did it with orange and black, I think. That's and it looked so awesome, but this is really neat. I love it. I'm going to put that in the zebra mold. That is so cool. Yeah. Good thing we're doing something. And hers was definitely more um, twisted. So I think I might do another one and just see what it looks like. But very, very cool. Roll it again.